All right guys, my name is Thomas Passy, and today I'm gonna be talking about my first lizard. But before I do that, I wanna give a special shout out to Pickle Chip, Carlos Vanterpool, Tornado Comedy, and Natasha White for leaving me nice comments on my last video. If you want a shout out like that one, make sure you're already subscribed, leave a nice comment on my channel, and you might be featured in the next video. All right, so now let's get into the story. I got my first lizard from PetSmart. It was a long-tailed grass lizard, it was probably about this big. I'm gonna leave a picture of it like right here. I was asking my mom for a pet reptile for like months and months and I really wanted a snake but my mom did not like snakes at all. I just kept asking for a snake. I was like, I want a snake, I want a snake, and I want a snake. And we went to the pet store, we started looking at everything and I saw a lizard that looked just like a snake. And I asked my mom if I could have it and she was like, okay, fine. And it took a little bit of convincing and I know some people who watch my channel have a problem convincing their parents to buy them reptiles I just got lucky with my parents eventually they just let me have everything I want basically but at first it was a challenge and all right so we went to PetSmart to get the long-tailed grass lizard that I saw and I really wanted but we didn't know too much about reptile care and at the time I was like five years old so what do you expect a five-year-old kid to know about reptiles or reptile care, at least, if he never even, like, studied it. I mean, a five-year-old kid could know if they read a book about it, maybe, that's what I would do. But the books weren't really informative on their care, they just talked about the lizards, like, about scales or random things like that, or how fast it is. Uh, but there was nothing about care inside the reptile books I would read. I was probably reading the wrong books, or I should make a book myself. And okay, so we went to the store and we were gonna buy the long-tailed grass lizard. The only problem was that we didn't really know how to take care of it. At least I didn't. My parents must have done some research on it or whatever the PetSmart employee gave them. And we went, I picked out the lizard and I was so happy. And then we went and we got like the terrarium, we got all the dirt. It was the Eco Earth brick. And then I remember coming home and making the eco earth for the first time, putting all the dirt in the water and then watching it expand. It's pretty crazy for a first time reptile keeper to be diving into all of this. And I thought it was crazy that like reptiles eat live crickets and we'd have to go to PetSmart like every week just to buy crickets. It was all so brand new to me. And I was so excited that I just wanted to hold the lizard. Now, I did what nobody should do. And if you're watching this video, please don't do this. I held my lizard for too much without letting it get settled. So basically, if you get a new pet reptile, you have to let them settle into their enclosure for like a few days. And you're not supposed to handle them a lot. Like hamsters and stuff, you could probably hold them like every day. Nothing will happen. Reptiles aren't guinea pigs, basically. You can't just hold them every day. They're gonna get stressed out. And like mine, they could die if they're that stressed out. And I didn't know that when I was five years old. And so I would pick up the lizard constantly and I would just pick it up and put it back down and pick it up and put it back down. And I would let it walk around my arm and I was so happy. Again, this picture, I mean, I was so happy. I've been asking my mom for months for a snake and I got a lizard that looks just like a snake and that was good enough for me. But then the next day, I look inside the cage and the lizard is dead. Like it had dirt inside of its mouth. And then we started reading like on the computer like why that might have happened and then all right it said you're not supposed to handle them a lot and my mom knew that already so she got she got mad at me and she was like i told you so you shouldn't have held the lizard for that long and all right i couldn't say anything but my parents felt bad and they actually know what they were doing it was all my fault like i was holding it too much without their permission <laughs> i was so excited Looking back on it, I wouldn't have done it, obviously, but I was only five years old and I didn't know what I was doing. After that, we eventually ended up getting three other lizards, and it was a long-tailed grass lizard, a green anole, and a Bahamian anole. And uh, they both, all three of them lived together. It was a communal setup. It was amazing. And then one of my sisters was born, and then after that, we had to sell it because we didn't want babies so close to reptiles and that's a whole nother discussion um but we lived in a small apartment at the time now it's different everything changed 
So basically what I want you guys to take away from this video is that you shouldn't hold reptiles too much and you should let them settle in after you get them because they're really stressed from the ride home or shipping, depends how you bought it, if you bought it online or in store. Even animals from reptile expos, people buy them and then they immediately start playing with them and that's not good, they get stressed out, even more stressed out than they already are from the transportation to your house. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a like and comment your favorite part. Also, subscribe and turn on post notifications if you haven't already. Stay tuned for my next video, it's gonna be very soon, and thanks for watching.